In this video, I'm going to show you how I navigate around in macOS without using my mouse, but only my keyboard. Notice that I'm on YouTube right now. I'm going to press right command on my keyboard. You're going to see something weird here on the right side. You're not going to see the right command key, but you're going to see something different. I'll explain why in a minute, but I'm going to press right command right now. And you can see the shortcut there. Now I'm going to scroll down on this window by pressing J and I can also scroll up by pressing K. What if I want to switch to a different tab? If I want to switch to the community tab, I'm going to press option. But again, you will see a different key map on the right hand side and I'll explain why in a minute. So I'm going to press option right now. And as you can see, I have a lot of labels on the screen under the community tab. You can see that I have AC. So I'm just going to type that in my keyboard AC that clicked automatically without me doing anything. Now I'm going to press command again and I can scroll down on this page. I can keep going down or I can go up. I'm going to switch to the videos tab. I'm just going to press option. Now I'm going to press AL. Click there and I can scroll down as well. This is not a browser extension. This is a Mac OS application that works on any app. Basically, let me show you. I'm going to switch to Discord right now. And here in Discord, let me try to navigate as well. I'm going to press right command so that I can scroll up and down. Notice that I have different numbers on the top of the screen. Two, three, four and five. So I can navigate to each one of those sections and scroll on each one of those panes. I'm going to press the number five. I can scroll down here or I can also scroll up same thing if I press the number three I can scroll down through the different channels here instead of pressing the numbers you can press tab to switch between the different panes as well what if I want to go to a specific channel I'm gonna press tab here I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and let's say for example that I want to go to this jobs inner shapes channel just gonna press option then I'm gonna press dd and now I'm gonna press command here so that I can scroll and I can scroll up and down the same way you can also search for stuff I'm gonna press control now I see a similar window but notice that at the bottom, I have this search bar and it says there search and press return. So I'm just going to search for something. For example, the word popular, just going to type that popular. Notice that this highlighted here. So if I hit enter, I can go to that section. Now I want to search for something that shows up multiple times in a video, something that repeats. Let me scroll down a little bit. I just want to have the word new and repeats itself on the screen. I can see it here multiple times on the screen. So I'm just going to press control. The search menu shows up. I'm going to type NeoVim here and I have four options on the screen. If I press tab, I can switch between the options. As you can see on the screen, I also can press a specific letter. It has to be the capital letter. So if, for example, I want to go to this Obsidian video, I have to press shift capital A or I can focus it and press enter. So that's another way. If you don't want to have all the labels on the screen, which might be a lot sometimes, but instead you want to search for something specific because you think it's going to be faster, you can do it that way as well. So you have both options. What if you need to right click or open a link on a new tab? Let me switch to my browser real quick. And let's say that I want to go to this page on the right. I just do it with regular shortcuts. I didn't use the app in that specific case. And I'm on the lazyvim.org website. Let's say that, for example, I'm navigating here on the left hand side. I'm just going to bring up the scroll functionality by pressing option in my specific case. And I press the number three here. And I'm just going to scroll down here on the left side. Let's say that I want to go to the YAML section. And I press option. The M takes me there. And I press command to scroll down. I can keep scrolling down here. And let's say, for example, that I want to open this NVIM LSP config on a new tab. I'm going to press option to show the labels and I'm just going to leave command pressed and then press FW. Notice that it opened the link in a new tab. If on the other hand, I want to right click somewhere and I press option again and instead of pressing command, I'm going to press shift FP. So this menu showed up. Let's say that, for example, I want to copy this text. I'm just going to press control. I'm going to search for a copy. I'm just going to select copy by pressing tab and I'm just going to hit enter here that copied it. So how do I do all this with the application that you see here on the left hand side? Let me scroll up so you can see better. Home row or Mac OS. This is the web page where you can download it. I'm not sponsored or anything. This is just an app that I use and I think it's pretty useful. I don't pay for the app because it allows you to use it without paying for it. The only difference is that after using it for a few times, you will see a pop up here on the screen that asks you to help the developer by purchasing the app. So if you get rid of that pop-up, you can continue using the app. And I'll show you where that is in a minute. Let's scroll down here, see if we find other interested information. Notice that it works on basically any app. This is Xcode here. If we keep scrolling down, we already demo this. We demoed scrolling as well. Search and click. We already did this, the search option. And notice that it works with basically any application. There are browser extensions like Vimium or others that allow you to use Vim motions. This works basically anywhere on your system. I'm not sure what the equivalent of this app is for Linux. If you know, please leave the information down in the comments. So I'm pretty sure others that don't use Mac OS are going to find this information useful. If you scroll down a little bit more, you're going to see here the pricing, $50. I think it's worth it. It's a really great app. I'll keep testing it out. And if I really like it, I will consider purchasing it to help the developer. Here under is home row free. 
you will be able to see the pop-up information. Notice that it's a paid application. You can use it without a license. I've been doing that for the past few months and the pop-up is going to show every 50 activations. It hasn't shown in all this time while I'm recording the video, but let me try to bring it up. I'm just going to be pressing option multiple times until it shows up. It's not annoying. You can live with it. Now, the question that I want to answer is why if I press command, the scrolling option shows up? Why if I press option, the labels show up? And why if I hit control, the search functionality shows up. Notice that I'm not pressing any shortcuts. I'm just tapping those keys. Keyboard that I use, it's a glove 80. So I configured the three keys, command, option, and control here. So I have them accessible with my thumb and I can get to the keys really quick. How did I do this? With carabiner elements. Let me bring up my key maps file. Here's my file. I just search for the word home row. Command is also my hyper key, right command. But I configure this here. As you can see that if I press command alone or by itself, basically if I just tap command, the way that I just did right now, this shortcut is going to be sent. Left command, control, option, shift, and the number six. So that's why you see that there. Now, let me show you the right control key. When I press that by itself, it's still control so that I can use control. If I press it alone, it's going to send these commands, left command, left option, and space bar. And down here, you can see that when I press right option as well, if I leave it pressed, it's still going to be right option. But if I press it by itself, it's going to send left command, left option, and delete. So then I just configured these keys, the combination, command, option, and delete in the home row app. Let me bring up the home row app. It's here. I'm going to go through the settings in case they want to configure it the same way. And I go first to the general tab. This is the way that I configured it here. All the defaults, except that I launch it at login. If we go to the other tab, which is the clicking tab, the shortcut command option backspace. That's what I showed you just a moment ago in Carabiner. So that shortcut is what shows the labels. And down here, I have the search shortcut, which shows the search bar here at the bottom. Notice that the key map for that is command option space, which again is what I configured in Carabiner elements. So that is what allows me to press a single key to bring up this home row app instead of pressing a shortcut. If we move to the scrolling tab, notice that it is command shift option control and six. So if I press command by itself, it shows me the scrolling functionality in the arrow keys option you have select and scroll. I don't know what that means. I just left it at the defaults, which is select scroll keys, H, J, K, L. If you love BIM or new BIM, you're going to love this feature because as you noticed, I didn't use arrow keys to navigate around, but instead to navigate and scroll and all that, I was using J and K all the time. This is what allows that. This enable scroll commands option. I don't know what it is, but here's the information in case you find it useful. Oh, it seems quite useful. So you can use the motions G to go to the bottom, GG to go to the top of the page. I didn't know that but I'm going to start using it for sure. Scroll speed. This is a wonderful option. I set it to 2.5. You can set the dash speed multiplier to a higher number if you want to scroll faster when you press shift. Let me go to the website again. I'm going to go to another tab. Let me go to this home row tab. I'm just going to scroll the way that I scroll normally. I'm just going to leave K pressed and it's going to be scrolling up. You can see the speed there. But now I'm going to press shift while I scroll down. And you're going to see that it's way faster. I'm going to scroll up again. I'm still pressing shift. Did it way faster. If I press GG, it goes to the top. That's great. If I press capital G, it goes to the bottom. That's wonderful. I didn't know that. Automatically deactivate during activity. Not sure what that is. Show numbers. Didn't change any of that. Let me go to the exceptions tab. Letter C. Uh, okay, you can add some exceptions here. And if we go to the about page, website, check for updates, Twitter. If you know what the equivalent of this application is on Linux, please leave the information down in the comments. Also, if you have other tips for navigating on macOS or in Linux, leave them down in the comments as I'm pretty sure it's going to help others. And it's also going to help me if I ever decide to switch to Linux from macOS one day. I think I covered all of the important features about this app. In conclusion, it's a wonderful app. Download it, give it a try. You don't have to pay for it at the beginning, but if you do like it, you should consider supporting the developer because it's a great app. Oh, and remember to use